In this vid, we're gonna look at the design and 3D printing of custom aglets for shoes and hoodies. G'day, Alistair here again, and I know this may be hard to believe, but sometimes I struggle with ideas for my videos, and I need a little bit of help. Now, I was recently visited by a young Tom Cruise in one of my dreams, and he gave me a great idea for this vid. What about these plastic things at the end of these laces? What a great idea, young Tom. You think so? I really do. <laughs> what is an aglet? It is a piece of material that is applied to a shoelace or other type of drawstring and it's designed to stop the string from fraying on the end. We all have them on our shoelaces and some of us on our hoodies like this one and they can be made out of metal or plastic. Now today we're going to be looking at technically I guess aglet covers so they're designed to fit over a standard aglet. So to give you a bit of a demo I have a giant shoelace here uh, so this is the standard aglet, it's a heat shrink and it's designed to stop it from fraying. What we're going to look at today is a aglet cover which is designed to slip over the standard aglet and provides some stylish fashion. One of the first things I noticed when I was designing the aglets was that standard aglets come in different diameters. Now, your standard high quality shoelace comes in at around two and a half millimeters in diameter. And that's what I've designed my shoelace aglets for. However, cheaper shoelaces tend to be smaller diameter and they come in at about one and a half millimeters diameter. Then we have hoodies. And hoodie drawstrings come in at around three millimeters. So this left me with a bit of a conundrum in that I had to design different aglets for different sized standard aglets. Let's start with the shoe aglets. So as you may have gathered from that little uh, design and build montage, these things are small. Um, I'm used to printing probably things on a larger side on my 3D printer. You know, big stuff's impressive, it's more fun, people like it, but the small stuff's pretty interesting too. However, you do need to have your printer very finely tuned and you need to use very fine print settings. So all of those print settings you can find over at Thingiverse. I've got all the details over there as well as the files you can download to print your own aglets. Printing aglets for shoelaces was fun, but they're so small that you're kind of limited with what you can do with them. So that's when I branched out into hoodie aglets. The good thing about hoodie aglets is they're a little bit bigger, you got a little more room to play with with the design, but also they're kind of closer to eye level, so you can actually see the design where on the shoes, you don't really see that fine detail. I tried a few different designs for the aglets. 
I looked at a two-piece aglet that was not so successful. I looked at an aglet that would crimp onto the shoelace that was not so successful either. Uh, but in the end, I went for a one-piece aglet that would print in an upright position on the 3D printer. I've done all the scientific research and development so that you don't have to. I designed and printed a lot of aglets. <laughs> aglets, you don't say. <laughs> Imagine that. Aglets. Aglets. Aglets! I settled on my final design, but I made a number of different iterations of the same design. They feature different words primarily, but they're also different colours, so you can mix and match your words and your colours to have a customised look that suits you. So let's take one of those hoodie aglets and have a look at how we fit it to the drawstring. If you want to have a go at printing the aglets yourself, jump over to Thingiverse. All of the files are available over there for free. Uh, let me know below down in the comments if you've got any ideas for design changes or tweaks. I can make those changes and then update the files over on Thingiverse. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.